I like when technology can be used creatively. You know, our kids can watch quality movies on a long road trip, listen to a book, or create a voice text for a family that lives far away. People years ago didn't have screens, but just because I do doesn't mean I have to abandon some of the other great things out there. My grandkids and I often sing together or play I Spy, old school, I know. When I'm tired, it's tempting to plop the kids on the couch with a TV show <laughs> instead of garnering the energy to make granola together or walk to the park. Each family gets to choose what blend of screen time works for them. Sometimes I sit down and watch a good TV show with my grandkids and we all have a blast doing that together. I always like to ask myself, is what I'm doing aligning with what the Bible teaches? And will it take me and my family where I want to be in 20 years? And that simple question helps me find a balance that works for me. One of my prayers is that God will give me the willpower to resist the constant allure of screens. Sometimes I'm the one who needs limits. As I read the research about my brain when it is overstimulated with excessive amounts of screen time, I get inspired to be more proactive, to include exercise, time in nature, and creative activities into my daily life. Like my vegetable garden, I could probably buy the vegetables for less at the store, but this garden of mine, this little garden in my backyard is life-giving for me. When it comes to tech use, ask friends and people you respect how they handle this for themselves and with their kids. I like researching things. So Lloyd has permission to weigh in when he sees that I have gone down a research rabbit hole and would be well served to call it quits and take a break. There's safety in numbers, eh? And this is one of those things that needs input from other people as you make these decisions for your family.